Ale. Check it here. So I'm on a private business class train on my way to a very, very exclusive party in London. But that is not what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to talk to you about famous characters from movies. And one that really, really gets my goat is Robin Hood. He steals from the rich and gives to the poor, which is an awful, awful message. Um, you know, it's one thing taking a loaf of bread to feed your family. And then the next thing, you're going to be pillaging the crown jewels and the country is bankrupt. Um, a far, far more relatable character with a far better message is uh, Batman. He is a benevolent CEO of a private military company. And he goes around, you know, fucking up bad guys in like a really good way and locks them up in an insane asylum and you know that's far more relatable message than any of this robin hood crap and you know bruce wayne actually existed for one whereas robin hood is just a legend Hello, jacob here i'm walking around the british museum as you can see um it's giving me a real real taste of knowledge and makes me want to be one of those guys that studies history, a history guy or whatever you call him. And like Dan Crookshanks, um, I know I'd be really good at it. Like I could say for instance talk about anything, like this mummy is 2,000 years old, it was from Egypt and it's amazing. Uh, this is from Iran, it's 4,000 years old and it's amazing. Um, yes, I'm, it's just getting me really excited. Jacob out. Hello, Jacob here. So I've just come out of the British Museum and it was an absolutely eye-opening experience. First of all, wow. Like, I did not realize we had mummies in the UK. I did not realize we had Roman gods in the UK. I did not realize we had Chinese sculptures in the UK and all of that stuff came from Britain because why else would they call it the British Museum it just really makes me super proud to be British and just amazing you know I doubt you'd see somewhere like that in Wales uh, hello Jacob here um, I'm a little bit shooken up I'm not gonna lie uh, Basically, my private car didn't turn up to take me to Chelsea, so I had to get on one of those weird, kind of like a lorry that carries people and it's got two floors. Um, I had to get on one of those things, and when I got on, the driver didn't even take my bag. Everyone was looking at me, and it was kind of scary. I wasn't sure if I was going to survive, so I pretty much just got off it straight away and got a... I uh, just waited around for another private car and it was alright in the end but it kind of shook me up a bit and you know I won't put myself in a situation like that again anytime soon if I want to survive till I'm 30. Um, London is really living up to its name of the city with a hundred surprises. You are not going to believe this but in London there is a system of underground trains designed specifically for poor people and it's called the pipe and I've just got on it it was crammed full of uh, lower class people but it was fine I didn't get hurt I didn't get injured uh, it was really exciting I'm not gonna lie uh, yes it was amazing uh, yeah, one thing that bothers me a bit now though is you don't see an underground train system designed for rich people. So, I don't know why people complain that we live in an unfair world. Because it was incredible. Jacob out.